Born March 30, 1853, in Groot Zonder, Netherlands, Vincent William van Gogh was a post-impressionist Dutch painter who was poor and unknown for his work. His appreciation and love for art came from growing up around artists, his mother, Anna Cornelia Carbentis, and art dealers such as his uncle Cornelis. In 1880, he moved to Brussels to become an artist even though he had no formal art training and had to depend on his brother Theo financially. Van Gogh started taking lessons on his own by studying books that were about design courses. In Brussels, he fell in love with an alcoholic prostitute by the name of Maria Hornick, who became his companion, mistress, and model for his art. After being threatened to have money cut off, he left and traveled the Netherlands living a nomadic life. There he drew and painted the landscape and people. Then he moved to Paris, was inspired by the work of Impressionists. The use of color and light is what really inspired him. His work is now known for its beauty, emotion, and color, but when he was creating it, it was seen as awful and embarrassing. Van Gogh struggled with mental illnesses, such as frequent episodes of depression, paralyzing anxiety, and he had some symptoms of a bipolar disorder. He also had many other problems, such as lead poisoning, sunstroke, etc. He died in France on July 29, 1890, when he was only 37 years old, from suicide. The piece that I chose by Vincent van Gogh is the Portrait du Docteur Cachon, or L'Homme à la Pipe. This is an oil painting created during 1890. Dr. Paul is- Ferdinand Gachet was a homeopathic physician that agreed to take Van Gogh as his patient. The doctor and Van Gogh found a personal connection. Van Gogh called him a true friend and that he was something like another brother because of the resemblance physically and mentally. The portrait of Dr. Gachon has the doctor gazing off into the distance. His eyes express sadness that reflects his and Van Gogh's state of mind. Van Gogh wanted the viewer's attention on the depiction of the expression on Dr. Gachon's face by having the doctor surrounded by various shades of blue. In 1933, Vincent Van Gogh was put on Hitler's list of degenerate artists. Because of this, many of his most famous pieces were stolen from their owners and displayed in mock museums, including the portrait of Dr. Gachon.
The portrait wasn't stolen by the Nazis from a private collector, but from the Stadel Museum in Frankfurt, Germany. The museum got the portrait in 1911, and the Nazis confiscated it in 1937. Hermann Göring realized its value and decided to sell it and make a profit. It was auctioned off and purchased by a German collector. Then this collector sold it to Siegfried Kramarski for $53,000. He was a Jewish financier that fled to New York in 1938 to escape the Holocaust. May 15, 1990, the family of Siegfried Kramarski sold their copy for $82.5 million. At this time, it was the most expensive art ever sold. It was purchased by Royoi Saito, who was a Japanese businessman. Upon his death in 1996, the painting was thought to have been sold, but no information was made public about it. There have been many reports in 2007 that claimed it was sold to an investment fund manager from Austria, Wolfgang Flutel, but never confirmed. The painting's location is unknown. The second version of the portrait of Dr. Gachon is currently housed in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France.